NTD, MS4, com check. MS4, this is NTD, and I have you loud and clear. Good afternoon, Barbara. Good afternoon, Jeff. I have you loud and clear as well. Houston, MS4, com check. MS4, Houston, we have you loud and clear. Good afternoon, Barb. Good afternoon, Bergie. I have you the same. Barb Morgan completing her comm checks um, with OTC and NTD here in Florida, as well as with astronaut Chris Ferguson in Houston. George, it's got to be a really exciting feeling for Barbara, 20, 22 years after being Chris and McCall's backup, and now here she is on flight day, strapping in, making her comm checks. I'm, yeah. ex I'm excited for her. And she did it during the uh, terminal countdown demonstration test, but to be able to do the comm checks for real, that, that indeed has got to be exciting. Something about game day, you know. That leaves Rick Mastracchio, the last uh, crew member, to get his helmet on and begin the comm checks. They're making them final checks of his of his neck ring right now uh, in preparation to put the helmet on. We mentioned the S5 truss, but what the actual purpose of it is sort of a spacer, and it provides a clearance between the S4 and the X, S6 solar arrays on the truss to allow those solar arrays to rotate without uh, any clearance issues. So I gather the intent has been to have uh, all of the solar arrays, most of them up there, I guess, so that when we put the laboratory modules on, they've got all the power available to, that's to exa work. That's exactly right. We, it, we'll, we'll need as much power as we can to have all the science continuing in both the U.S. laboratory, the, the Japanese module, and the European Columbus module, uh, as well as to increase to a crew of six when you when you increase the crew size, you, you increase uh, demand on a lot of things, and one of those things being electrical power, and uh, we'll take as much of that capability to generate it as we can. And uh, what's the, the, the current estimate that you mentioned earlier about when we may be going back up to a, a six-member crew? Um, it planned for later about four or five increments from now, our crew expeditions. So that's a, each... Each space station expedition crew is a six-month uh, space and time. So it would be two, two, two and a half years down the road where we might increase that crew size. As far as the uh, what's on orbit now, how much capability does the crew have to be able to look out the window and see what's going by? Well, there's a, a window in the U.S. lab, which they have the ability to, to look out of, as well as uh, in the Russian segment, there are se several windows where they can view different, different um, angles, some of which don't see the ground. Um, although the, the aft window in, in the Russian segment does provide a, a pretty good ground view. Through those windows, the space station crew will, will take pictures of the of endeavors 
well, the whole, all of the external surfaces of Endeavour, but in particular the the heating tile, heat rejection tiles on the belly of the orbiter as it comes up pr just prior to docking, it'll do a a pitch maneuver in which at which time the crew, the space station crew, will take those photos and downlink those photos to the ground team for analysis and uh, to decide uh, the integrity of of those tile surfaces. Personnel air to ground one, the spa is available for retrieval. OTC MS2, com check. MS2, this is OTC. I have you loud and clear. Welcome aboard, Rick. OTC, you're loud and clear also. Thank you very much. NTD, MS2, com check. MS2, this is NTD, and I have you loud and clear. Good afternoon, Rick. NTD, you're loud and clear also. Good afternoon. Houston, MS2, com check. MS2, Houston, we have your loud and clear. Good afternoon, Rick. Houston, you're also loud and clear. Good afternoon, Fergie. With Rick completing his com checks, uh, that completes the crew ingress. Close out crew, George is... Uh, making the preparations for moving all the ground support equipment that was required inside the orbiter to to allow the support personnel to to effectively get the crew ingressed OTC ask ask OTC Ready for Astrocom and air to ground check. Copy that. I'm going to go ahead and kick you off to power up your ascent camera on 019. Roger that. And CMTC, that's 651, 652. Copy. ATC, CTLS, 2 and 2. CLS, go. Yes, sir, I'll give you step 744. GLS initialization is complete. That's the uh, start of the ground launch sequencer. Preparing that for the terminal countdown after T minus 9 minutes. That will be controlling the count from T minus 9 up to T minus 31 seconds. And the ground launch sequencer will be checking over a thousand different parameters of the shuttle in that last. Uh, Nine minutes. We are ready. Okay, and all personnel on air to ground one will be picking up after context. Please remain silent unless you have an emergency. That's step 658. And Endeavor, OTC, com check, air to ground one. CDR, loud and clear. PLT. MS1. MS2. MS3. MS4. MS5. Endeavor, I have you all loud and clear switching to air to ground two. <laughs> 